Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Epic Speed Driver from Callaway. Welcome into our Golf Channel studios. I'm Whit Watson. Final round of the AT&T Byron Nelson outside Dallas. Interrupted by weather, a two and a half hour rain delay on Sunday. But once the sky is cleared, it was K.H. Lee, the 29 year old from South Korea, with a final round 66 25 under par. And he wins on the PGA Tour for the first time in his 80th start. Sam Burns was bidding to win for the second time in as many starts after he won Valspar a couple of weeks ago. Final round 70. He finishes solo second. Three shots behind the leader and the winner for the first time. Lee with our Kira K. Dixon after the round. I don't know if you noticed, but the sun came out just as you were hitting that final putt. And it just seemed like the perfect way to end a pretty crazy day in the past four days. How are you? Uh, uh, how have the past four hours been for you leading up to this last moment? Um, long day for me. Yeah. I think everybody. I mean, but I just try to keep uh, patient and positive thinking. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to looking at leaderboard. So just try my my goal and then um, successful. Yes. You know? So I'm very excited and happy. Very, very successful. And describe what you were feeling when that last putt went in. Um, lot of I'm um, before a lot of imagine uh, when I win, mm -hmm. like, um, like uh, what is that? You go, hello. You go, what are you? Ah, like yeah, like fist pump or uh -huh. I imagine a lot of things, but too excited over there. <laughs> I almost forget everything. Just. So excited. Yeah. That, that tends to happen in an exciting yeah. moment. Okay. Um, you had the putter change this week. Uh, it seems like you're working through having that positive mindset to see that all come together. And now knowing you're going to the PGA Championship, how excited are you about your game right now? Um, yeah, a um, lot of help for change putter. Mm -hmm. um, a couple months putting so bad, but never changed my putter. Uh, but um, this week changed the answer type, so that's a lot of help this week. Yes. And excited. Happy. Well, congratulations, and Thanks. we'll see you at the PGA next week. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Cage. KH Lee is the last player in to next week's PGA Championship at Kiowa Island in South Carolina. First time winners on the PGA Tour this year Jason Kokrak at the CJ Cup, Carlos Ortiz in Houston. Joel Damon at Punta Cana, Sam Burns a couple of weeks ago at the Valspar Championship, and now Lee at the AT&T Byron Nelson. Speaking of Burns, he came pretty close to winning again. The last player to win his first two events on the PGA Tour in consecutive starts was Camilo Vajegas back in 2008. That record will stand for at least one more week. Burns with a 70 in the final round, 32 putts. That putter may have done him in when all was said and done after his round he spoke with Kira. It is really hard to win on the PGA Tour as you know so to come out here and have those back to back wins and starts was a tall order but what are your takeaways from the week? Yeah I think the biggest thing um, for me is you know just knowing that my game's in a good place um, you know it's in a good spot enough to where I can contend um, so that's just that was cool for me. Um, just to see some results for some of the stuff that I've been working on back home. So, yeah, all in all, a great week. What were your thoughts on how KH played today and how the tournament turned yeah, out? Yeah, he him? played, I mean, he played awesome. I was really proud of him. Uh, just when, when it was tough, he hung in there uh, and, and he got off to a great start. I mean, it was kind of gettable at the beginning. Uh, he got off to a really fast start. Um, and then kind of midway through, it got tough for everybody and he just, he just kept hitting one shot after the next and never really gave anybody a chance. And mm -hmm. so, it was fun to watch. Uh, I was really proud of the way he played, and it was, it was tough to beat him today. Can you describe what it was like maybe three hours ago when you guys were swimming <laughs> for a while there in the rain and then yeah. to come off of that and sit for
for a long time before you could go back out? Yeah, I think it was kind of one of those things we kind of expected going into the day. Um, just looking at the radar and the forecast last night, it was kind of hit or miss. I was actually shocked we got that many holes in. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was uh, it was crazy there for a while. I mean, I looked out there and I was talking to Amanda inside and 18 fairway was just, I mean, you could have swam down 18 yeah. fairway. Um, so, you know, hats off to the, to the staff here. They did a great job getting the golf course back playable. Yeah, it was a bit of a river there for, yeah, for a while. Yeah, it was. Uh, now that you, we're looking to next week, you said that you were happy that you got to see some things that you've been working on. Uh, what are those things as you look to the major championship next week? Yeah, I think uh, for Kiowa, I've never, I've never been there. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't played it. So just, you know, seeing the golf course for the first time, trying to figure out um, how it's going to play that week, what the weather's looking like, and... Uh, just kind of go through our routine of what we need to what we need to do to get ready just the you know the normal prep work and mm -hmm. um, we'll see how it goes all right good luck thank you thanks Appreciate sam so many players coming in hot to the pga next week jordan spieth is one of them 71 in the final round 18 under gives him a top 10 finish at the byron nelson that is his career best at his hometown event 35 on the way out 36 on the way back 30 putts not his best but he is comfortable with where his game is right now as he looks ahead towards next week. He spoke with Kara. All right. Well, those back to back Texas wins were, was not to be. But uh, what were your takeaways from a bit of a crazy day of golf today? Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, I made a couple. I think once we kind of got through 12 holes, I was kind of out of it at that point. So that was disappointing. Just made a couple mistakes off the tee on 12 and 13 and lost a couple strokes. But um, all in all, um, I, I've not I, – coming in, I didn't think this was necessarily the best golf course for me. Um, historically, I, I didn't necessarily feel that way. Obviously, the, after the first round, I liked the position I was in. But um, I'm really I'm, – I'm happy with kind of the way things turned out for the week as a whole. Today was a little disappointing. Um, just – it was tough. I mean, what a battle. Uh, we don't normally get rain in Texas without um, electricity uh, very often. And so that was definitely a test, but um, it was fun. I mean, I thought the tournament was great out here. And after having a month month off, um, just kind of coming out, hitting a lot of good shots, picking mm -hmm. back up where I left off was a big confidence boost. Talk us through the last three hours from the rain being extremely heavy to then getting off the golf course, what you do during that time and then to be able to get your body back into a place where you're ready to yeah. swing. Well, I only had, I only had 83 yards left, so I didn't have to really go through any kind of warm up. I mean, I went to the range and just mm -hmm. hit some wedges, which I ended up, I don't know if water got between me and the ball or what, but I, none of us hit a good wedge out there. But um, yeah, I mean, that rain is tough. I mean, we, we went through four towels, three gloves. Um, you're trying to figure out who's holding the umbrella when and, uh, it was a bit of a mess, but, um, you know, it was, I mean, I got pictures from my friends and family who were out there, and, I mean, it looked like a bigger mess outside the ropes. So um, wish I could have performed a little bit better um, kind of on that on the back nine today. But uh, overall, it was the best finish I've had at this event, an event mm -hmm. that, you know, like I've mentioned to you before, it takes a lot out, and yeah. um, I'm, I'm kind of rejuvenated for next week. And speaking of next week, the 2021 PGA Championship is upon us. Coverage from the Ocean Course at Kiowa Island starting on Monday live from the PGA Championship begins at noon Eastern time and continues all week.